Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mark from the Sharkstead and I'm going to show you which five ingredients we use to make homemade compost for our seedling trays in spring. Ingredient number one is fallen leaves that we've gathered from around the garden. The reason we use leaves is not only because it's a brown texture and layer for the compost, it also provides great nutrients for the soil and improves the microbe bacteria level to increase worms and aerates the soil over time. Ingredient number two, sawdust. The reason we use sawdust is to not only have a filler for the compost layers, but it helps break down the green layer, which would more be lettuce and your nitrogen rich food scraps. It also helps retain moisture as it breaks down and creates mycelium, which will ultimately bring the worms in to aerate the soil. Ingredient number three, kitchen food scraps. Now, reusing various kitchen food scraps will help provide the soil with all the nutrients left over which have normally gone to waste. This includes eggshells, onion peels, potato peelings. It doesn't matter if they're freshly scrapped, peelings, cooked, raw, rotten. It all helps break down. And this will not only provide crucial nutrients back into the compost, but reuse and recycle back into nature. Ingredient number four, potash. Now over the winter periods, we've been saving any potash from the pechka and saving it into a container. And the reason for that is it's really good for increasing potassium levels in the ground, which helps provide any crops or flowers with abundance yield and healthy plant growth. Ingredient number five, existing soil from your garden. And the reason why this is important is because it's already established with microorganisms and bacteria that will help the new organic matter decompose and produce a balanced level of chemicals and nutrients to help plant grow. So now that you have gathered all five ingredients from around the garden, it is crucial to find the appropriate container for the amount of compost you want to produce. And it must have enough room for each individual layer. Now we're gonna show you which layers we put in first, how deep and how it looks at the end. So we've chosen to use this half wine barrel as our container for compost. We have started the layers off by having two inches of soil from the garden and then an additional covering of brown leaves. Okay. The second layer we are using is a week's worth of kitchen scraps, which has a balance between green organic matter, potatoes, eggshells for calcium carbonate, and this should provide the compost with a generalized balance of all the nutrients plant growth will need. The third layer is to sprinkle over an inch of sawdust
This will help improve the aeration of the composting once it's finally ready. And stop the smell. To stop the smell as the food decomposes. decomposes and also help retain the future compost to hold water. Okay. And then ash. So now we use potash gathered from over winter burning timber in the Pechka. A light sprinkle. So now we are using the garden soil we collected earlier in the video to create the top layer and then we can repeat the process again until it reaches the top of the container. Squish it down. It's important to compress each layer so that all the layers are in contact with one another. Okay, let's try again. Now we're going to repeat the process using each of the individual layers and show you what it looks like when it's finished. now for 30 days and then it should be ready to be used.